My name is uh, Gerald Steinacher. I'm a historian at the University of uh, Nebraska Lincoln, and I wrote the book Nazis on the Run about the escape of war criminals and perpetrators of the Holocaust after the Second World War. And I became very much interested how these people escaped um, after 1945, in the years between 46 and 1950 to be precise. And I wanted to know more about uh, how they got away, what kind of travel documents they used, how they got new identities, what were the routes, what exactly uh, did they have to do in order to get out of Europe. And also, I was interested in the destination countries. I realized very soon that there is hardly any research done so far about this topic. Only in the last years there were, uh, you know, first studies about this topic, and it has to do with the climate of the Cold War, and it has to do with the archival access, of course. The sources historians need to work on that topic. So I realized also that um, explanations of the past, like uh, mythical explanations, like the Odessa myth based on books by Simon Wiesenthal, the famous Nazi hunter from Vienna, and then also in cooperation with uh, Wiesenthal, uh, novels based on, on these stories uh, written by uh, British writers like uh, Frederick Forsyth, the famous book The Odessa File. These kind of explanations are really far from the truth. The more I investigated, so many interesting things came to light, especially the role of Italy. Uh, I realized Italy in those years, immediately after the Second World War, became a kind of Nazi loophole, a way to get out of Europe, a Reichsautobahn, an Autobahn for war criminals, as I call it. So Italy had a very important role. And in Italy, uh, the Catholic Church, especially the Vatican Commission for Refugees, uh, played a central role in helping not just normal refugees, but also perpetrators and SS officers and former national socialists. The motivation for the church was a political one, a strong anti-communism, but also a religious one, a uh, kind of moral victory and uh, helping to re-Christianize Europe. The Red Cross played also a very important role, and I was surprised about this. This was really uh, came really as a surprise to me. The Red Cross, in close cooperation with the Vatican, used travel papers for these perpetrators uh, and helped them to get a new identity and to start a new life and to hide from Allied justice, of course, under a new assumed name. We're looking uh, now back 60 years. It's a very complicated picture that emerges from my research. And it's, of course, very easy nowadays to make judgments. But we have to understand the context of the time. The context of the time is very crucial. This early Cold War situation, the chaos of the post-war years, the millions of refugees on the move, and only at looking at all these elements, we have a better understanding what happened 60 years ago and how people, how Nazis on the run could escape from justice.